I'm going to show you how you can link Airtable records using a lookup. I'll be using this tool by miniextensions.com. So the idea here is I want to share a table like this with my users. And let's say this is for some conference and we've got a bunch of events and I want them to be able to add themselves to events that they're interested in, but I don't want them to be able to add other people to, to events. And I like, essentially, I only want the people who are interested to be able to add themselves to events and do nothing else. So what we did is we came up with this register button and when the user clicks it, you're taken to a login screen. Now the login screen asks for information that is in the link table. So if I show you the link table right here, in this case, we wanted to go with a very simple example. So we just went with first name, but for example, you could do an email and a password, an email and a phone number. So you can essentially like make sure, really make sure that it's only the person who is filling up that login page. That is actually them. Um, so let, let's go with a simple example of a name though. And then in my case, let's say I want to add this person to the first event. So let me just open that again. So this is the first event and drop that name here, click submit. Then when I go back here and refresh, you'll see that that person got added to the event. So that's pretty much it. We just want people to be able to sign up for events. I'll show you how you'd set this up now. So start by filling up your user API key, follow the blue arrow to find that, then select your base and then select the table that contains the users. So in my case, I'm going to go with vendors. So this is a different example, but I'll show you the base here to, to get a sense of what I'm trying to do. So my vendors here are my users. And then I want my vendors to be able to add themselves to furniture. So let's say like they're adding themselves to furniture that they're interested in or something. Um, so yeah, users, vendor, furniture is where the linked records will be added. And then for the login page, I get to choose fields from the vendors table with the users table. In my case, I'm just going to do name. Next, I have to select the field that contains the linked records in the original table. So if you go to furniture, there's in this, this is so, so in, in the initial case, this was this field right here, the attendees. So let's do vendor It's this field. I just got to select it over here and then I'll click save. Then I can copy this formula. Um, once I copy it, I can add it to my table over here. So I just do login with lookup and then I'll do formula and then I'll paste this here, click save. And let's try it out. So I'll come over here and I know an example name over there called box. Let's see, so I get redirected to the success. I go back here and as you can see, it got added.